Hello there, I'm Kathy from the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership, your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. If you are a middle school math teacher needing some ideas for the first day of school or the first week of school in your middle school math classroom, you are in the right place. I am gonna be sharing with you some super fun and super engaging activities that you can use on the very first day of school. Before I dive right in to show you the exact resource that you can download, I just wanna share an unpopular opinion. The unpopular opinion is, your classroom does not need to look like it belongs on Pinterest. I know so many of us get super caught up in wanting to make our classrooms beautiful and we feel the pressure of seeing all these teachers on social media with these beautiful bulletin boards and flexible seating and all of this beautiful decorated classrooms and you're feeling stressed out about it. And I just want to tell you, you don't need to feel that way. Okay. Okay. So let's dive in to these resources and you can grab these resources right in the link below in the description box. Okay. So here are some of my favorite activities to use for the first day. And you can even use these for the first week if you would like as well and by spreading them out. Okay. So the first activity, that I want to share with you is this activity called the numbers in me. Students will share some number facts about themselves by indicating when their birthday is, what is their age, you know, drawing a picture of themselves, describing how many people, including pets, are in their family, and what is a fun number fact about them. This could be, you know, how tall they are in inches, or maybe how many places, how many states they've visited, or how many I don't know, goats they have on their property, like whatever they want, What's whatever something fun is. Okay, next is the student questionnaire. I love this because it gives your students a way to share information about themselves without needing to feel like they have to publicly share anything. So I love having students list 10 interesting facts about themselves. And this is, it's really important for me to tell my students to write things that they like or that are good about them, not things that they hate. I have seen students write things like, you know, I hate the color blue. Like, I don't care about things you hate. Like, I want to know things that you like and what are some things about you that we could talk about. What are your strengths? Everyone has strengths. What are your weaknesses? Everyone has weaknesses. What is something that you want to learn this year? And then what is one thing that the teacher can do to help you learn best in class? This is probably the most important question because it's really interesting to, to see the feedback from students. You might have students who will tell you that, you know, they might need an extra set of notes or they might need you to slow down because some of their teachers in the past have moved really quickly or they might share that they have an IEP, like if they, you know, like are aware of that and know to share that, you probably know that, you know, just given the, your staff and things like that, but they might share some important information that will help you build relationships and give your students that safe space to share. And the final activity that I love is two truths and a lie. I love this because one, it gives you a way to just learn more about your students in that really important for time frame of the first day, first week, where you're really building relationships, building trust. Um, and this incorporates a little bit of writing. You will have students tell you which letter is the lie and then why. Why is it the lie? So you could say, you know, um, you know, you have students write two truths and a lie. You can go around and and have the rest of the class guess which one is the lie. And this can be played all at once, if you have a really big class, maybe you split this up into, you know, five people a day get to share over like a week's time and just continue to bring in that engagement. You will have kids, you know, laughing, wanting to share, and you're, you're just creating a space where they are willing to share. So if they're willing to share a little bit about themselves here, they'll be willing to share their thoughts on math and how they, you know, how they came up with an answer or why they think an answer is. It's just creating those building blocks um, that will really help your students in the long run. I hope that you've enjoyed these, just a little bit of some of these ideas that I like to use personally in my own classroom. Again, you can feel free to download these right in, using the description below. And the last thing I want to share with you as you head back to school is 
if you are looking for the best sixth, seventh, and eighth grade middle school math lesson plans, consider joining the Pre-Algebra Teachers Math Membership, where we help you teach with ease and keep your students engaged. We have everything you need to head back to school so that it's a lot less stressful and a lot more fun. Again, use the link in the description box to grab all of these activities and learn more about the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. See you next time. Bye for now.